As many of you have probably heard by now, on Wednesday night, a, a Tory MP, Peter Goldring, he's the MP for Edmonton East, he issued kind of a strange press release where he was saying, in the light of the allegations that had been made on Parliament Hill of uh, sexual misconduct, to in, in order to avoid besmirchment, MPs, you know, probably even just normal citizens, should do what he does and wear a body-worn camera at all times. It's a way of obviously having your own independent record and obviously avoiding any bogus accusations. He was roundly slammed on this on social media. First of all, because it was kind of a crazy idea. I mean, really, who would do that? But also because it was tone deaf given the circumstances. It made it sound like uh, Mr. Goldring was basically saying that the two thus far anonymous NDP MPs who've made allegations of sexual assault or at least sexual harassment against some liberal MPs were basically making it up. And the whole thing was just completely tone deaf because it was like, oh, hey, everyone, you know, young fellow out there, you better wear a camera so that you can go out and make sure you never get accused of anything. It was the worst possible thing to say at the moment. He retracted it a couple of hours later, no doubt because the Prime Minister ordered him to. The only thing I would say, and this is not meant as in a defense of Mr. Goldring, is whether we like it or not, we already live increasingly in what is a surveillance society. Pure civil libertarians may say, oh, we need to resist this, we need to fight it. I don't think we can put this genie back in the bottle. I think we need to learn how to work with it. And besides, look, you never know, if we're just being totally honest here, every once in a while, having your own independent version of events, it may end up coming in handy.